Season 2 is finally here, a brand new refreshed map with a ton of new hidden secrets and easter eggs. After only just a few hours of exploring, we've found a ton of cool references and hidden details that literally no one else has noticed. The first secret is huge to the storyline and that's the monster inside Command Cavern. Last season there was a ton of hints and speculation that the monster would be making its way back onto the Fortnite island and for the live event that never ended up happening. Clues such as voice notes of the monster had been found in the files of the game and even a brand new location called Cass's Cave, but it never ended up coming. It all builds up to this. Everybody has completely looked past this new area in Command Cavern and it's a huge metal sealed door. Hmm. I wonder what could be behind it. Last season, all there was at this location was a few drills sitting outside and it didn't look like they were up to much. But now, if you get close enough to this new metal sealed door, yes, you can hear the monster locked up away inside. Listen to this. As crazy as it is, these sounds match up to the leaked groaning noises of the monster that we had last season. I guess this is the Imagine Order's plans to help them win the war in Season 2 in the fight against the Seven. As we know right now, the map is covered in Imagined Order equipment like these brand new blimps. And there is where the next Easter egg lies. The main blimp just chilling outside Command Cavern is hiding a pretty cool hidden secret. One I'm sure you're going to be pretty surprised with. Last season we saw the return of some some old Fortnite favourite characters hiding away behind enemy lines in Covert Cavern, a room from Meow Schools and a few others. But this time, just outside the blimp is a brand new room for Sky. It seems like all the Chapter 2, Season 2 characters are now making their way back on the map. I'm super excited to see how they're going to get involved. Are they going to be sabotaging the Imagine Order's plans to help the Seven win this war? Well, it looks highly unlikely at the moment as the Imagine Order are one step ahead of the Seven with this next secret. Over in Tilted Towers, what once was No Sweat Insurance is now the headquarters of the Imagined Order. All you have to do is travel down to the bottom floor of this new building and there it is, the blueprint plans of the Seven and what they're up to. As you can see, it's got the Seven's logo in the bottom corner there. How have the Imagined Order managed to get their hands on this? It seems a bit strange that it's just lying on the floor here, but however they got it, they know exactly what the Seven are up to with the battle bus development and I'm sure they're going to be able to find a way to counter it. These blueprints are definitely going to be coming in handy for the Imagined order in this war. Talking about these battle bus blueprints, let's head on over to the brand new Sevens workshop where this next secret lies. Currently, we're having to fund gold to help build these battle bus machines, but that's not the secret. Secretly, in the trailer for this season, no one quite caught on to this, but when Doctor Strange opened up his portal, look who was alongside of him. Iron Man. Tony Stark, the man himself, who, if you remember back in the past, is great with technology. He originally rifted in Stark Industries and even modified battle buses for us to help destroy Galactus. And guess what? He is here on the Fortnite map right now, helping the Seven create the new battle bus for this season and to help us take down the Imagined Order. This is a pretty cool little easter egg that I don't think many people have connected the dots to. Tony Stark, the man himself, is building these battle buses pretty cool. But not far down from the road from this location is the addition of a few new rocks. And this easter egg, you're probably going to think I'm going a bit crazy because at the end of the day, it's just a pile of rocks. But after careful inspection and a few other people confirming this, under the sand here are the two rock buddies whose storyline we followed along with all the way back in chapter one. Back then, each update, Epic Games would change the rock statues slightly and move them around the map. One week, these two buddies were waving at each other, the next week, they'd be completely destroyed and then even having a rock family together. It was crazy and the community loved them and they're now back on the map in Chapter 3 Season 2. This is an awesome little Easter egg and a little throwback to Chapter 1 that barely anybody knows about because at the end of the day, when you're running past this location, it's just a pile of rocks. Hopefully, over the course of this season, the sand moves or they manage to get out of the sand and hopefully we get to experience the two rock buddies storyline again Everybody loved these guys. To do with the storyline, let's talk about the huge hidden secret in the Battle Pass. 
the origin. A huge secret lies behind this guy's helmet. Okay, I'm just gonna say it to you guys. The origin used to be the Cube King. You're probably just as surprised as I am. After weeks of trying to work out and explain the origin's past, after he got leaked in a Fortnite skin survey, we came to the conclusion that somehow he was linked to the Cube Queen. There were so many similarities with the neck brace, the diamond on the center of his chest, and most importantly, the dark energy hands. After the season two update, and in particular this loading screen, we can see the evolution of the origin skin. And look, he was once known as the Cube King. You can see the cube glow effect on him, the markings of the spire, to then transforming into a prisoner, and then to the origin. The name, the origin itself, suggests he was the founder of the Seven, and at some point turned his back on the last reality and the Cube Queen, and started the Seven to protect the Zero Point. Just from this one loading screen, we've got so much information about the origin and it's awesome. Uh, a weird easter egg next. Anyone know what's happened here? A new gravesite has appeared, which normally Fortnite do to commemorate something that happened to a player in game. But like, I have no idea what this means. It was added in with this season and it's clear that something happened to a car with what it looks like two players. As you can see, there's two gravestones and a crashed car. If anybody knows what this is, do let me know. We also got a few new mythic bosses this update. The return of Dr. Sloan and even the new addition of a mythic boss at the Command Cavern Blimp. This guy is pretty hard to fight, but what many people haven't noticed is that he's got a cool little easter egg attached to him. If you get close enough, he actually ends up using his special power-up, which looks awfully familiar. It's the special attack of Wolverine from Chapter 2 Season 4, and after some digging in the files of the game, Hypex has found out that this hints towards the return of Wolverine sometime during this season with updated mythical claws. Wolverine was such an awesome addition to Fortnite as he patrolled all of Weeping Woods. You were kind of scared to go there just because of him and I'm sure was one of everyone's favourite Marvel characters of that season. Fingers crossed we might even see a few more of them as they help to fight against the Imagine Order in this huge war that's going on. This little secret has secretly slipped under the radar and is kind of huge. With the removal of building in Fortnite, Courage found a cool little Easter Egg hinting at Tim the Tapman in this season's live trailer. Tim the Tapman is known for always taking damage, so take a look at this. Hey Tim, good morning, pal. Uh, I think Fortnite just gave you a major shout out. Uh, in their trailer for the new season, they show that building is being taken away and building gets wiped from the map. Well, when building gets wiped, when the building gets wiped, two, two skins fall to their death in the background. The middle one in the front center of your screen is the one and only Tomato Man, your skin falling to his death. Yeah, I think Epic Games have completely trolled him there. And there you go. That is every new secret and little Easter egg hidden in this season. If you guys end up buying the Battle Pass for this season, make sure to pop in code MMCS in the item shop. And I've picked out this awesome video up on screen for you here. I reckon you'll enjoy it. I'll see you over there.